What up, y'all? Welcome back. <clears throat> We're doing this little mana vault. We're doing the mana vault. I clipped and filed my nails while you were away. That's a good, that's a solid strategy. Mana vault. Mana vault. Ooh, up into a bribery? <clears throat> I do like a bribery. Guys, I'm probably gonna always take bribery. Sometimes it whiffs, but sometimes it's just chef's kiss. Sometimes it's, it whiffs and sometimes it kiss. I, kn I, know we, I know we seem to draft the same cards a lot, but they're very good cards. I don't know what to tell you. Plus, if that Basalt Monolith or that Rakdos Signet comes back, we may, maybe we're mono, mono Blue Brown. Black and blue. Brown and blue. Nailed it. Hopefully we don't have a uh, Mana Vault 13. See, that's solid. See, that's a funny reference. You're a funny guy. I'm going to take this Ulamog. We already got a Mana Vault. The alternative is like Polluted Delta, but I don't really care about that. And also, I think Ulamog is a great payoff for certain cards. You know, namely uh, Through the Breach, Sneak Attack, things like that. This actually, this Ulamog is not the best because it usually just attacks for 10. And then they get to, you know, still play the game. But exiling 20 is, it's a lot. I'm going to take Metalworker right now because <clears throat> that's a good dude. And this is early enough that <clears throat> we can, uh, you know, do the do the Metalworker. We can work the metals, as it were. Huh, nothing here, nothing here. Oh, Worm Coil. That's a, yeah, <clears throat> that's a solid guy. We were looking for ramp, but, I mean, metal or worm coil is just fine when we have metal worker mana vault. All right. Well, we want to maximize our artifacts now. Utamog is a classic Chion reference. Well, this pack is pretty rough. I guess we're just taking Fire Ice. Because we're on course to try to be red-blue. And Fire Ice is just good. <coughs> um, yeah, Control Magic's fine. Bullets is Citadel also fine if we get Tinker, but Triple Black means we probably can't cast it. This is going to look a lot like our last deck, I guess. Uh, Hanger Back Walker. Oh, Sneak Attack? Yeah, we're just taking Sneak Attack. That's actually a strategy into a, into itself. Unto itself. <clears throat> Pestermine, huh? Okay. <clears throat> sure, I'll take the, all the components of this blue-red deck. Uh, Sneak Attack Woodfall Prime is actually pretty good. Same thing with Through the Breach. So, I'm going to put my robot friend over here. Expansion Explosion is actually... Trinket Mage does get Mana Vault currently. Artifact is good for Metalworker. So there's like three different options here. <clears throat> Hmm. 
We'll take Trinket Mage. We can get other swords, and I'm not committed to Metalworker. This already gets Mana Vault, and if we get, like, Soul Ring or a, a Mox, it's, it's pretty good. None of these cards are exciting. I will take Scrubland just in case. This is more like a two-drop, really. Eh, I'll take Wall of Omens. Sure. I'll deny someone a Regisaur. I mean, this is actually pretty good. I, I like Pestermite. We have a Pestermite theme. We have a Sneak Attack theme going on here. <clears throat> we have nothing that's good for our deck here. Probably just Inkwell, like, in case we get a Tinker. Ugh. Ugh. Yeah, this is just sad. I can also see Direfl I think it's Inkwell. Like... I think Daredevil's fine. I think actually Daredevil's good. I don't think Bloom does anything for us. Yeah, I just like Inkwell in case we get Tinker. Because then we have Inkwell and uh, Worm Coil. Ulamog. That's what we're looking for in terms of sneak attack. So, definitely taking that guy. Not, not any other great options, really. <clears throat> Uh, Mere Battle Sphere. Phantasmal Image. <coughs> you guys might notice we did just pass a Fallen Shinobi. I just think Ulamogs are neat. <laughs> Look how those guys are neat. I like Battle Sphere too. Also, Metalworker could come in if we keep picking up cards like this. Worn Power Stone. Oh man, maybe Battle maybe maybe Metalworker's back on the menu. Azorius Signet. Oh man, maybe ba metal, maybe Battleworker's Metalworker Battle Battleworker Metalworker. What's his name? Where is Mike B? Mike B is at work. Mike B has a job, so he goes to work, and then he can't stay home. <clears throat> God, my throat's all scratchy all of a sudden. We also don't necessarily need Sneak Attack. I'm going to put Sneak Attack and Woodfall Primus in the sideboard for now. But then again, these guys eh, these guys are still fine because of Metal Worker and Pestermite. So now we have Sneak Attack, Pestermite, and Wood. Oh, boo. Is that, is that a... That's a thing we want, right? Let's take that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven right now. Blighty boy. Oh, but we also want Lodestone Golem. Do we have I think we have enough targets. We have Worm Coil, Battle Sphere, and Inkwell in case we get Yeah, we're just taking Lodestone Golem here. <clears throat> Kozilek. Okay. Tezzeret also pretty decent, right? I'm going to take the Tezzeret. We already have two Ulamogs. When you wash down your Masala with a Sunny D. Oh, boy. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight... Lotus Bloom actually seems decent now, because if we draw it, we can still metal work it. Yeah, alright. Metal work it. Well, 
dark dwellers, baby back ribs. <clears throat> Tezzy for show. Alright, we got seven, nine, ten, and eleven. Six, seven, nine, ten, eleven. We just need an eight drop. <coughs> oh wow, Phantasmal Image came back? That's actually shocking. I mean, this guy's not great, but it's an artifact, right? So, what the hell? But it did do hero student sure parallax wave cool bunch of white cards sounds good mm. <clears throat> there it is there's the payoff there's the sweetie boy Um, <clears throat> well, when you don't see a single artifact in your pack. A little sweetie jeeky for us? There's no jeeky in this pack. I think it is click. I don't love it, but, I mean, this pack's not super impressive. I could also take Watery Grave, but... <clears throat> I have no no incentive right now to be a different color. Tinker is a sweetie jeeky? What the fuck are you saying, Phil? Oh, snappy boy. I think we're just taking off-color signets at this point. Snappy Boy doesn't hit anything. It literally hits Tinker or... Yeah, we're just taking Girl Signet. Oh, Consecrated Sphinx. Winter or... It's gotta be Sphinx, right? It's also Thirst for Knowledge is real good, too. Dang. I actually don't think we need more threats. We have a lot of big top end cards, which is really weird for me to say. Need to flesh out that middle. That's what <clears throat> that's what she said. What does that mean? I think it's either Signet or Thirst here. I think it might just be Signet. Dude, dude. I actually kind of like Time Warp here. That kind of sounds sweet. Wandering Fumeral could be good as well. Yeah, I don't take a Time Warp. Splinter Twin. Let's go with our Pestermite. Pestermite. Eh, Forge Master's actually, actually, Forge Master could be good here. Usually, I don't love Forge Master because I never have targets, but Yorion doesn't do much. We can blink Battle Sphere. None of these guys do blinky. I'd rather just keep <clears throat> keep hitting artifacts here. Show and Tell is interesting. I don't think it's good for us though. Underground Sea might be fine. I don't think we do anything with that either. Crucible doesn't hit anything for us. There's your underground sea. Yeah, finally. Finally found it. <clears throat> this could be good with an ul with two Ulmogs in our deck. I don't know. I'm just going to take it. I don't foresee us playing second colors.
Like, this is a solid 23 hit. I 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 artifacts. I would like another artifact. I am glad I took those random signets, though. <clears throat> I guess we could just have Bowmat Courier. Turn on Metal Worker off shop seems legit, actually. Oh, wow. This is a pack. I don't think we've seen this pack yet. This is nice. Sword is good. I like Rick Riffling Cloud Skate a lot, too. I think it's just Signet here. <clears throat> I think we just want as many Signets as we can get. Wow, ever flying, I, I, I would have taken a Riffling Cloud Skate had I known we were going to see an ever flying Chalice. That makes me sad. Oh, Duretti. Winter Orb came back. I don't see where, I don't see a oh, smokestack. I see Yorion. Alright, so I'm definitely taking out Fire Ice if we're not playing red. I don't think we're playing red, so I'm taking out the ready. And one more thing. I'm sorry that Jealous made me <clears throat> Um, Actually, Winter Orb could be very good. I was hoping to get an Urza for the Winter Orb, but... So now we need two cuts. Considering we no longer have sneak attack, I don't think the annihilator is relevant. I don't. Yeah, I don't think we want a second Ulamog actually. Especially because we already have like these other guys. I think we can take out the infinite gyre. I think this guy's just better if you're casting it. I do kind of like it because I want to have things to to ramp into with my with metalworker and stuff. I and mean, this is 15 artifacts now, which is super nice. I can also see taking Trinket Mage out. Like, he finds... Actually, he finds three things now. Yeah, I think XL20 is... The easy, easy win. <laughs> or we can just play 41. You guys like 41? I'll play 41. Oh, yeah. 41 it is. <laughs> God, that emoji gets so much use. Are you going to be that guy playing Winter Orb? What a regular Bucky Barnes this guy is. Is that a Bucky Barnes thing? I didn't actually know he played Winter Orb. Or Magic the Gathering. Or existed. So, you know, a lot of, a lot of confusion on my end. <clears throat> wow I mean I'm going to keep it because if we hit any signet or uh, like any uh, we have four signets we have four signets, a mana vault and an ever flowing chalice to hit for this so you know and hamburger jung hamburger young mulligan to five on the play so we got two cards we're doing alright Incredible luck today for my opponents, of course. <laughs> Tinker and EDH sounds nightmarish. Yeah, that's that's a real good card to not have legal. Oof. Oh, seven drop. Watch, we're just gonna top deck Inkwell Leviathan, and then we're gonna feel real stupid. Okay, that's a thing. All right. You know what? Sure. We're gonna have to take a beat, but that's fine. <clears throat> Ever flowing chale. You know what? You got it. Get rid of Forge Master. All of roots, sure. It's a very awkward situation we're all in right now. I think time work. Actually, we'll get rid of Vendillion Click. I don't think I necessarily care about that very much. 
Oh, they didn't play anything pre- this is, oh, this is fine. Let's get rid of Vendillion Click. Is it coming down? No, not yet. Okay. Oh boy. Um. So this is just the end of the game, right? <laughs> oh, welcome to Cube Draft, baby. That's something right there. Oh, well, that's pretty good. Uh, they're still dead, right? Yeah, they're still dead. Because this comes down next turn, which meant, like, we're just dealing infinite damage. Yeah, that's fine. Get rid of Battle Sphere. Come on down. Surprisingly close, though, for a Mulda 5. Our draws were not very good. <clears throat> okay. <laughs> oh, jeez. Deal 28 to you. <clears throat> 28 to you, my good man. Alright, well. <laughs> Jesus. Oh, boy. This hand is terrible. This hand's good. Oh, boy. <clears throat> So we're going to go this guy and maybe this guy into... Oh, maybe we should have actually... They have a lot of... They have a lot of swords. We saw at least two swords. Well, that's immature. Not necessarily terrible for us, though. What's the play? Everflowing Chalice for two next turn could be good. I kind of like Everflowing Chalice. It's more permanent. Yeah, that seems fine. I mean, Mana Vault's not going to be as good on turn four. So, you know. You got it. Mustang belly. Okay, that's good. I like that. I'll block. Oh, what? Oh. Man, you may be sad. Oh, Metal Worker. What does that change? Hmm. could steal this guy. One, two, three, four, five. Seven mana with a land, six mana without a land. Could also just chalice for one and play click on their turn. Because I really don't think snake is what we care about here. Oh shit, <laughs> we were going to do it in the draw step and then I was reading the chat. What are the point of frank points? Nobody knows. Okay, hopefully they don't do anything crazy. Uh, this does not look very crazy. Uh, sure. Okay, I'm actually... They play a land. Yeah, in response to this, we're going to click them. 
<clears throat> Click them and tick them. What do I got? Sword of Body and Mind? Primeval Titan. Avenger. Yikes. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Well, if they play Titan, we can steal it. I think Sword of Body and Mind is actually our biggest concern. Are they doing anything this turn? They're going to play, like, Scavenging Ooze, I guess. Yeah, I think we just have to get rid of the sword, unfortunately. Okay, so sword is gone. One, two, three. So we know they have these four and then whatever we gave them. Fine trade. Okay. <clears throat> okay. Island is gone. That's what we're hoping for, because now we want to control magic that dude. One, two, three, four, five, one. Unfortunately, there's no way we can actually play both of these in the same turn. Yep, that's pretty good. I think the upside of having Metal Worker here is a little bit better. So five, six, seven, eight. And this is nine. Blah. Question is, do I cast the signet? I don't think so. They have four, five, six, seven, eight, nine mana. So they can activate this guy for four, which is fine. They can also shoot both of our guys here. Uh. Four, five, six, seven, eight. They can also just cast Avenger, which is fine. Yeah, I think we're just going to go Avenger and fuck me. God damn it. <sighs> sure. Must be nice. I assume you're going to Polucranos kill Vendillion Click. Yep. Sounds good. I mean, I'll, I'll take another turn, I guess. That is interesting. We still don't have any outs, though, right? Like, they just carn this guy and kill us. Or they carn... Well, I guess we'll have two creatures, right? So, Phantasmal Image. You. Yes. Go to Workshop and Island. So we got three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Might as well play a land. Because if they kill here, we can block here. I don't. I don't think we have any outs, but I mean, might as well just play it out.
So they played a land before playing Avenger. Yeah, these are hell of, these are amazing draws. Wow. Karn and Avenger. Yep, cool. Uh, I definitely think show and tell is worse than we, we anticipated it being. Um, I mean, the only time we would have been able to cast this guy was the turn but right before we died. Or the turn after we died, actually. There was no point where that guy was going to be good, unfortunately. I think our deck is fine. Like, we have a bunch of big fat idiots. I don't think that's an issue. I think our hands have just been really bad. And, like, we have, like, fucking five Signets, a Mana Vault, and an Everflowing Chalice. And, like, we literally can't, like, draw any sort of ramp whatsoever. Worn Power Stone. Like, it's kind of weird. Sure. Inkwell Leviathan in hand is not ideal, but... Oh, we can put it back, I guess. <laughs> yeah, that's a good idea. Like, none of our hands have been conducive to, like, a solid start with this deck. Mana Vault into turn 2 Tezzeret would be pretty sick. Untap the Mana Vault. And they get Library of Alexandria. I mean, it's not a fast card by any means, so... We might be able to outrace that. boy yeah you draw those extra cards <laughs> yeah. yeah that was my thought as well I'm like if you want to draw with library you're going to be two lands behind because of Gollum Four mana, so it's a three mana spell. Wreck Sage on Lodestone Golem? I don't know what this is. Finale or Green Sun? Nope, guess not. I don't know what's going on, but I feel like we're in good shape. Okay. You taking three? I have a feeling they're not taking three and their nature is claiming Lodestone Golem. But 
But then we get to like attack with Inkwell, play Tezzeret, untap Inkwell, Signet. Seems good. Oh, they did take three. I have an Inkwell on board. That doesn't do anything. I can't cast either of these. So this is 12. They got to block one. Yep. Take two. Take seven, rather. Uh, just, uh, I just want to make sure. Yep, okay, so these are both six. Yeah, all right. I mean, our hand is stacked. <laughs> they have one, two, three, four. They have six mana to work with. They could play, like, Primeval Titan. Get no blue. Oh, we just won the game. Okay. I mean, our hand is insane. Oh yeah, we're snap keeping this, boys. Snap it off. This is turn one five mana. Turn two signet off that thing. And they're going to five? I mean... Vintage Cube is a format where five cards could be fine. Like, even if this was, even if we didn't have this as a land because it's very restrictive, this is still two mana on turn one. It's still like an ancient tomb. One, two, three, four, five, six. We'll have eight mana next turn. We can cast Mere Battle Sphere. So Commander Legends seems fun to meet as well, but the problem is that like it's a four-player commander event. Like I guess, I guess the leagues, the matches are played if uh, is is a four for four for four. What do they what do you call it? Four players, four v four, one v four, four, four versus. No, I don't know what it's called. It's four players. Okay, that's what I'm saying. One v one v one v one. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. What did you take? What did you give me? Oh, it doesn't work. Uh -huh. Oh, I like a Baleful Strix. We can also miss Myrick Fiend. I think I just want the Baleful Strix. Okay.
Uh, yeah, we could have used we could have used workshop for Strix, but um, we wouldn't have had mana. Well, because we would have. We had one floating, didn't we? I think we could have used for Strix. One, two, three, four, five. They have one card in hand? Hmm. Yeah, because you can use any color of mana to cast it. Do we play land? One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, let's just do this for three. It's weird they cast Bone Shredder with no target. Not sure I really understand that one, but... Sometimes Baleful's mana cost can be a bit restrictive. Wow. Give me something good. One of those ten. F that's not. That's not what we're looking for. If we can trade with Gonti here, then we get to. I'm just gonna actually. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen mana. Yeah, this is a lot of mana. They don't have anything going on. Like, I think we can just pass here. I don't think we need a time warp yet. Because if we hit nothing, it's like we're, like we're not under any pressure right now. I'm wondering if they have Recurring Nightmare. No, nope, Scavenger's fine. They killed the Baleful Strix. Sounds good. They have three power on board. They have one card in hand. I think we're okay here. It's gonna keep playing lands, right? Like we have nothing that's like discard this card. I do wish we had more card selection. I wish we did take a thirst at some point. Boy, do we have mana? You ain't kidding. You ain't kidding. land oh my god so this is 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 we have we have mana to cast friggin emrakul right now oh tez would be an insane draw <laughs> i am afraid they have one of our seven they have like uh, they can't have worm coil right we would have just taken it or they would have cast it, rather. I'm afraid they have, like, Mirror Battle Sphere and they're just working towards the seven mana, and then we're like, oh, we don't have anything to do with that. But they might just have nothing? This is weird. Oh, my God. Let's 
I'm gonna give him one more turn. See what happens. What up, Scoony Love? Oh, that's fine. Get Gonti back. Hey, that's what we said. All right, we'll have six here. I don't foresee us responding with anything because we don't have anything. This is like the third match in a row over two drafts that we have played against this Liliana. It's kind of surprising, to be quite honest. That's a bingo! So we're going to go three, four, five, six, big Tezzerini. Untap of the easies. Um. Nah, I'm good. One, two, three, four, five, six. No, I won't pay. Oh, let's do that first, right? Oh, no, let's not do that first because then we have to. Yeah, just put my land. Five. Let's see your deck. I want to see what's going on here. Okay, that's basically all of it. What are we getting here? Mesmeric Fiend? Yeah, let's just get the Fiend, and then we can take a peek and see what's going on, and we get all the information. Toxic Deluge and Riftwing Cloudscape. What? Double blue card? Yeah, sure. Oh, we got the attack all back. Nice. That was a game right there, my dudes. Their deck does not look like a show and tell deck. However, if we go if we go show and tell into like a Nulmog, they can go Chupacabra, Shriek. Mo well, I guess it's in if it's indestructible, it's good. Fallen Shinobi. They do have an Oblivion Ring. They also have Opposition. Do they have Bitter Blossom? We didn't see Bitter Blossom. Hmm. This might be a sixteen land deck. Baron Von Vaderham. Have a good night, buddy. <sighs> I wonder if Show and Tell is worth one island. And then we put in Big Oots. I mean, this is a good, this is a good tinker hand. I'll keep it. Oh, they're mulliganing to five on the play. What's going on? <coughs> oh. 
Excuse me. Control seems good. Come on, let's draw big, big, big fat Ulamog. Dang it. Oh, they also have Brazen Bar, which can bounce our guy. What other Tinkets target targets we have? Uh, Inkwell Leviathan. Oh, that's actually fine. Yeah, next time we're just gonna coil, and then if we get another land, we can get Mirror Battle Sphere. That seems good. <laughs> okay. Rage is a card that I love as a card, but I just never want to play it in my Vintage Cube deck. I mean, I guess if I played Yorion, it'd be fine, but even then, it's just not super impressive. That's where the story ends. You guys know that jam? Big Lil's spending G's. <laughs> Feels worth it just attack here. They're like, do I triple block and kill it, or do I just block with the one zombie? I'll block with the one zombie. There's a two, what's the two one flyer that does the same thing? I'm probably gonna steal that just because it really hinders our progress. I don't want either of these guys to die. So, you know, we steal. Oh, well, okay. Oh, you're thinking of, like, the, the fairy, right? So what do we get here? Just, like, ravenous chupacabra? Kill this, get our show until back? That doesn't do anything, right? Um, I don't hate Gonti. It's not exciting. I kind of just want to get rid of the Baleful Strix right now, though. Send this guy at your face and this guy at Lily. And I'm definitely going to tap four to deal four to Lily. So that way Lily goes to three. And then if they want to reanimate, they're going to have to kill her. If she dies, she dies. Lily can't blow up shit. She dead. Well, she's not dead. She's a three. Is there any kind of creature that comes into play and kills a, uh... Um... Planeswalker? Is it like a Ravenous Chupacabra that kills a Planeswalker? Or a creature? That'd be... I'm surprised that hasn't been done. 
I mean, I think um, the closest thing is the bat that mutates. Interesting. Oh, see, they want me to block, <laughs> so that they can, so that they can get uh, their chupacabra back with Liliana, I guess. Oh, they're gonna fall on Shinobius. Yeah, that's fine. I hope it's fine. It's fine. You just play Winter Orb. It seems really bad for you. Wow, really? Oh dear. <laughs> No, Plague Crafter doesn't do it. That's way too conditional. Yeah, you guys are missing... You guys are just making up... Making, you guys are really stretching my question here. Yep, that's fine. We're gonna steal that... That banana. So they have no mana. They're all tapped out. Sounds good. Yeah, they're just, we just get to, oh, oh, okay, okay, okay. Ba -ba 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 bananas, bananas, that's pretty banana. So if we steal this guy, they get to block here, they still take four, six, two. There was that bad for my core, that's literally, I really, well, that's literally what I said. <laughs> Oh, this is a 5-3 because of your wild graveyard? Oh, bananas. Attack. So we can attack with everything, but, like... Block 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. No, they're going to take the 4 anyway. Yep. This is basically the same, but it encourages you to block here instead of here, I guess. So you take, you go to one. Hmm. That's the thing. Yeah, Meteor Golem does it. I'm not looking for a card that can kill a Planeswalker. I'm looking for a card that specifically says, when this enters the battlefield, destroy a Planeswalker or creature, maybe creature. But like, I just don't think it exists. Did we change our deck? I'm going to 16 lands. We draw a lot of lands. Yeah, I don't. It's pretty easy to find. Like we can actually just like Google it or like uh, Scryfall it, but I don't think it exists. Yeah, this hand seems fine. I was spacing out. I found a creature when it dies. Uh, Murderous Rider does not count, no. I'm looking for like a ravenous chupacabra that kills a planeswalker. I just want to know if it exists. And it feels way... Oh, alright.
It just feels way too easy to find out. I don't think it does. Which is weird. It's interesting. It feels like that's a card that would have been created by now. Like, it could be a card called Spark Stealer. Comes into play, kills a creature. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Well, I got nothing but spells. Vampire X Mage kill. Okay, this is great, guys. You guys are really stretching it. Hi, I'm Earth. Have we met? I don't think so. Again, Mold Shambler does not specific specifically say Planeswalker. It just says any permanent. Not, hex, hex Parasite doesn't do anything when it enters the battlefield. You guys are making this... Really, you're just playing that guy as a 2-2. Two -two. Take six. This guy comes down. Cast it, pay the one. Power stone. We got three, four, we got seven mana. One, two, three, four. We take ten next turn. Nope, Plague Crafter still does not do it. Just like before. Oh my god, this is totally a what a strictly better mean conversation. Oh god, it's horrible. So we can f we could Uh this guy doesn't seem very good. They all have first strike. Forge Master is probably where we want to be right now. Three Four. So can we do chalice for five? One, two, three, four, five. No. We need to do chalice for two. One, two. And then we have one, two, three, four, five, six. Ah. That's not good. And we only have seven mana, so we can't actually. This is no good. Forge Master does do some work next turn, though. So we have four, so we have seven total mana. Seven mana, seven mana. Three, four, five. Yep, this is what we gotta do. Yeah, that is what it is. It's not ideal. It blocks well, though, so... <laughs> okay, we're taking ten. Taking ten. Hmm. One, two, three, four, five, six mana. We can Tezzeret, go search for an artifact, put something into play. One, two, 
one, two, three, one, two, three. We're actually one mana shy of being able to cast Power Stone and Vendillion Click. It's kind of unfortunate. So literally we're gonna die to a Flicker Wisp this turn. Yep, that is pretty sad. Seek out. I do have batter ball, but that doesn't do anything against the flicker wisp. Yeah, I guess, I mean, we can just cast click. I'm just trying to figure out, like, I mean, I wasn't, I didn't want to sacrifice this guy to himself, but we may just have to. I think we pretty, I'm pretty sure we have to, actually. One, two, three, four, five, six for Tezzeret. We untap these two. Yeah, we just have to, like, we just literally have to play Vendillion click and nothing else. We can't play Power Stone and click because we don't have the mana. That's the point. Yeah, we're just gonna let them come in. Just hope they don't have an answer in their two cards. That's what we're looking for here. I almost tempted to click our cell. Yeah, I wanna see what they got. Uh Elspeth conquers death and fight as one. Interesting. Yep, let's get rid of the fight as one. We give them a chance, but we also have to try to get rid of the Flicker Wisp, so... Yeah, it's gotta be Battle Sphere here, otherwise we die. So... still alive. Ha! <laughs> oh, man. Jesus Christ. Crying out loud, dude. You have one draw and you draw a fucking flyer. Come on, man. Oh, man. Oh, we can't even cast this, actually. We can't do anything, so we're just dead. Cool. Cool, cool, cool.
Uh, let's bring in Fire Ice. Take out Trinket Mage. I don't even think Bribery is actually going to be that good against them. I'll just bring in Yorion. Or Pester might actually. I actually think Pestermite's better. Orb actually does seem pretty bad. <laughs> yeah, we'll keep this. It has a lot of potential. Senor Lodenstein. Non artifact caused one more for you as well, you see. <laughs> Go on, Jim, tell him why it's called Senor Lodenstein. <laughs> Porcas muy wet rapido. Oh my god, I'm so proud of both of you for fucking saying that. This, oh my god. Wow. One, two, three, four, five. <laughs> I think this is fine. Well, we're just gonna pass here. If we desperately need to tap the stupid mana vault to pe pester mite something, that's okay. Sure. Tax robot smash. <laughs> oh god, we have a good time. Ooh, they took it. Blade Splicer. What do you got? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We have nine mana. Give me something like a worm coil engine, my dudes. Island's pretty good. I say two, one, two, three, four, five, and now we still have mana for your boy.
I'm going to tap down the first strikey golem here. Nothing. Nothing. Sure. Something, something good. Warm power stone. Seems, seems bad. One more. One, two, three. Oh, because it costs Because it costs him. You got it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen mana. What's the draft? <laughs> Grunting is science of improvement at power. Just as an old tennis player. Uh, yeah, I'll take six here. They couldn't just throw a blade splicer away to flip their Kithian? That's interesting. Would really love a 10 mana Ulamog right now. I feel like it would really, uh. Really help us out a lot. If the deck lacks something, it's like Ancestral Recall, I guess. I do gotta call him Utamog. This feels like an alpha turn, but it's not. So we're gonna take six. Hope we get one more turn after this. They're gonna spend their mana on that guy, which is totally fine. I have a feeling we're gonna draw the winter orb that I think we forgot to take out. Maybe we took it out. Okay, good, we did. God, I really wish I had the other Utamog in here. It's a voting system for the Commander Legends. You get one, like if you win, you get one vote and then none of your opponents vote for you, so you get 75 play points. What? That sounds terrible. Sure. Where's an Oblivion Stone? Actually, no. All is dust. That's what we're looking for. I mean, that's fine, but it's not great, right? They just kill us anyway. One, two, three, four, five. It might be fine. They only have five in the air, which is a big deal. We also have a blocker in the air. They vote for themselves because they're selfish little nerds. Good grief. It's 
an easy block. times. They still have three mana up that they did not use on Student of War, even though they could have used it on Student of War. That's really weird. Also, they have eight power in first striking creatures, so that's the end. Alright, well, we had a good run. 2-1, not terrible. Thank you guys for watching. Slam the like button, the subscribe button. I'll see you next time. Check out manatraders.com. 15% off the first three months of any subscription. It's a great deal. Great service. Great way to support the channel. Also consider subscribing on Twitch. Uh, that's pr the primary means of supporting. And uh, it helps me out a ton. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you later.